do. I, I just see so many people out there doing it individually. And, you know, I'm not a part of a, a national organization. And, you know, I know what it's like to feel like you're alone and trying to do these things or you want to go to D.C. this time and, and you can't. And so I want to help those people. Well, and sharing funds, but also sharing knowledge, right? Like the the first time yeah, you, definitely. you you try to go see a senator, you probably have no idea what you're doing or who to call. And, you know, all of those yeah, things yeah. get a lot easier the more you do them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can go along. And actually, the very first time I went to meet with a senator, I didn't realize I was actually going to meet my senator. So <laughs> that was interesting. But I was fine. It's funny because I get so nervous before, like I give a speech or speak on a panel. But when I'm in the moment, I'm like, yes, I'm fine. I'm meant to be here. I'm like, I wish I could just carry that on before the moment. (laughs) So are there things, are there bills, laws that are sort of slipping below people's radar that they should be aware of in the realm of healthcare or disabilities? Well, you know, in the realm of healthcare, I feel like, you know, a lot of times things go unnoticed and especially in the disability community. Currently, you know, different states are proposing the Medicaid work requirements. I think I just heard North Carolina is toying with it, which I will definitely be fighting. So, you know, those are the types of things that I've been focused on. I've actually recently taken a break. So, I probably need to brush up on the latest things that are happening, but uh, it's just, it's the tax bill and the premiums are going to rise. And always there's the looming threat of Medicaid funding being reduced or turned into block grants and those types of things. Are there people that you would recommend following on Twitter or, or other forms of social media to be a good source of information about these things? Yeah, I mean, my go-to, and I consider him a friend, is Andy Slavitt. You know, he is someone who really cares about people, and he breaks things down for you so easily so that you can understand. And it's funny, when he breaks it down for me, I break it down even further (laughs) to make it very simple, because I don't know those details. And honestly, I don't want to know those details. I want to know the facts, and I want to know how they impact people. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I go and fight. And so um, he is my go-to. I'm actually on the Founders Council for his new organization, United States of Care. And he came to North Carolina, and we had some organizations come together to talk to him. So he's kind of doing these town halls and actually listening to the people and what the needs are in each state. And I think that's pretty amazing. So I will always bring him up as the go-to for healthcare. So if people would like to find out more about what you're doing or or follow you, what's the best way to find out more information about what you're what you're doing and how they can help with Sophia's voice? Yeah, so mostly I'm on Twitter and anyone who knows me knows that. So at Natalie W ten twenty and that's the best way to keep track of uh, my advocacy. And then also Sophia's voice, which I'll tweet things from from there. And then they can uh, check out the new website, sophias-voice.com. And still under construction, but there is a place you can donate if you're interested in helping people. And then also, I just have my own website for the advocacy work that I do individually at natalieweaver.com. Great. And we'll put those links up on our website as well so that people can find those. So Natalie, awesome. thank you so much for for all of the work that you're doing. And, and thank you for, for coming on and talking to me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the conversation. Thanks for listening to Two Broads Talking Politics. Our theme song is called Are You Listening? off the album Elephant Shaped Trees by the band Imunari and we're using it with express permission of the band. Our logo and all original artwork is by Matthew Wefflin and is done expressly for Two Broads Talking Politics. We can be found on our website at twobroadstalkingpolitics.com. You can reach us by email at twobroadstalkingpolitics at gmail.com, on Twitter at Two Broads Talk, on Facebook and Instagram, and you can support us on patreon.com.
You can find our podcast on Apple Podcast, Stitcher, Google Play, Spotify, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, and anywhere podcasts are found. If you are interested in advertising on Two Broads Talking Politics, please email us at twobroadstalkingpolitics at gmail.com.